One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know where that was going, but I just felt like counting. Good morning, it's 9 a.m. and today I'm doing my second ever budget challenge. Now, if you didn't see the first one, these are the rules. I have a certain amount of money that I can spend throughout the whole day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I have to use it at a certain restaurant, okay, or fast food place, which is a restaurant also, by the way, even though it's less classy, I don't care, fast food has some of the best food, and that is the truth, and if you don't want to hear it, you're in the wrong place, sweetheart. My first challenge was Panera Bread, and I had a $20 budget isolated. I had like a dollar and nine cents left over, I think, even though dinner was kind of a struggle. I, I had like a little cup of mac and cheese and a piece of bread. That sounds like some like medieval peasant meal, and I love that for me, but anyways, today's budget challenge challenge is gonna be Wendy's guys okay Wendy's now the budget is gonna vary with each restaurant because if I had $20 to spend at Wendy's it wouldn't be that much of a challenge to be honest I mean unless if I got tons of combos but if I just got like separate items it would be pretty easy so the budget today is $12 for three meals I almost did $10 but then I was like I literally might not be able to eat dinner like I might use up most of the money by then so I had to do 12 because also by the way taxes are included in the budget so I have to think about that too and um, I do have my $12 in cash so I literally can't go over like I can't use my credit card nothing like that 10 crispy one flaky <laughs> one buttery we have $12 here. So let's pick our first Wendy's meal before we get there, okay? By the way, if you're new here, subscribe. I review food, hotels, I do challenges. It's so much fun. I'm about to start traveling this week, so get excited. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It is the easiest way to support me. It's a little button right there. You just click it. Apparently, it helps with engagement. I'm not asking for much. And if you don't hit that like button, you know, Waiting for you is like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless and disappointing. I'm totally joking. Anyways, I have the Wendy's app right here. Let's see the breakfast menu. So we have breakfast combos. I'm not doing a combo. They're always way too pricey. Um, let's just go to biscuits, okay? So this is the biscuit menu right here. <gasps> biscuits and gravy. Oh my God. How much is that? $2.49. That's not horrible. I could do a biscuit and gravy. Let me see the other options. You guys know biscuits and gravy do something to me. It is like my favorite breakfast meal ever, I think. Now there's also a sausage biscuit that is only $1.79? That's extremely affordable, okay. I could do that, but I'm craving the gravy. Ooh. How about the honey butter chicken biscuit? $3.69, nah, that's above my budget today. I kinda wanna keep breakfast dainty and cheap, so that I can eat more for lunch and dinner, right? So I'm just getting one item, no sides. And of course, I'm getting a cup of water because it's free and it's hydrating. The sausage gravy and biscuit is 70 cents more than the sausage biscuit. Should I splurge? I'm doing it. I really want the basket of gravy. You know what I've noticed? British people put gravy onto everything and like they call everything pudding. And I kind of love that. It's like pudding is such a fun word. And, and like like to them, sausage is pudding. Like that is so cool to me. So would they call this sausage gravy pudding gravy? We are officially entering the drive-thru, girlies. I'm excited. Sausage and biscuits. I'm in line. There's only one other person. Hello, how are you? Good, and you? I'm good. Um, can I get the sausage gravy and biscuit? Okay. And um, a cup of water. Would I be Yeah, that's all. Nice, thank you. Thank you. Girlies, I'm getting so much better at ordering. I ate that faster than I'm going to eat this biscuit. It is sort of like an overcast, rainy, drizzly day, and I kind of love that because Florida has been so hot i mean the whole country has and it's been raining a lot but like when it rains it's like a super hot day and then randomly it will pour for like an hour and then stop it doesn't just drizzle it's like extremely just like powerful rain but today i woke up to a nice 
drizzly day. I just feel like Bella in, in Forks, Washington. <sighs> Jacob! <laughs> okay, someone probably heard that, sorry. No, Kristen Stewart is not in the car with me. No pictures, please. Hello, how are you? Hello, good, you? Good, thank you. much have a nice day you too okay i'm just driving to a nice shaded spot i hope they put a lot of gravy guys i like my biscuit just totally soaked okay gonna park right here very shaded oh yeah wait okay yay i'm so hyped okay so we have a straw let's try the water little taste test wendy's water I don't think that I've ever... Ooh, something smells like a, like dog food. Please don't tell me that Wendy's gravy tastes like dog food. It really smells like canned dog food. Like the dog food that my dogs eat. Oh, no. I don't think I've ever had um, Wendy's gravy, so... Who knows how it tastes. Wow, Wendy's water tastes... Like a fresh spring. It tastes like hydration itself. It tastes like water. Okay. So we have some napkins and the biscuit and the gravy. Now this is pretty heavy. Like this is probably going to fill me up. Ah! Okay, that was not totally sold. Whoa. They put a lot of gravy. Oh. <laughs> That's the Trisha laugh. Oh. Um. Okay, it smells a little bit better now that it's opened. By the way, I will count the money after I eat this and I'll update you guys on how much I have left. Okay. I'm so hungry. That's how it looks on the inside. Mmm! It doesn't taste like dog food at all. Um. Oh. I don't, wait, I have to lock my door. Oh my god. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is delicious. The biscuit is so fluffy and not soggy at all. Like, it's coated in the gravy, but it kept its breadiness and fluffiness. Mmm. Mmm. I am already getting full. Wow. Mmm. By the way, guess what? I'm going to be posting this while I'm literally in Disney World. So at the end of this week, when you are watching this, you are getting my first Disney World video ever. And I'm so hyped, guys. Mm. They gave me so much gravy. Wow. Mm. I am going to a certain park and I'm going to be eating the food there for 24 hours. I actually have reservations for an iconic restaurant at the parks. Like, iconic. And, of course, I'm gonna be riding on rides. I'm bringing my GoPro, so hopefully I can film myself on the roller coasters. I have these, like, secure straps that go on your hand or your wrist that allow you to safely film on a ride. So, we're gonna be going on rides together. We're gonna be eating all the food. Mmm. I have leftover gravy. What should I use it for? <laughs> I'm just gonna eat it now. Arr. Arr. I love that so much. 
you guys know those girls that like sing like R I R like Zoe Deschanel type girls, you know what I'm talking about? I just lar talking like varm. Uh, okay, I really like this. Okay. That's enough, Timmy! That's enough! Enough with the gravy! You've had your fill! Leave some for everyone else! Like I said, the biscuit was amazing. Very fluffy, buttery, loved it. The gravy itself was also pretty fantastic. There was no hint of dog food. The sausage pieces were delicious and, and there were a lot of them. So like it did feel kind of meaty and heavy and nice. The gravy did have a strong sausagey flavor, but it also had a very strong black pepper flavor. And you guys know, I don't think black pepper is <laughs> spicy by any means, okay? Like I love spicy food. I love very spicy food. I am not one of those people, but there was so much black pepper in it that it actually turned a little bit spicy in the back of my throat, which is very interesting. That has never happened to me. It was just a nice classic biscuits and gravy. I'm very impressed by that. I am feeling satisfied. It was a great price. I loved it. So breakfast was a 10 out of 10. I'm eating this challenge so far, literally eating my way through it. Now let's count the money. So we have one, two, three, four, nine dollars. And 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. We have $9.34 left for lunch and dinner. Anyways, I'm gonna go home, get ready for the day, and I will see you guys at lunch. Okay, so it's about 12 p.m. It's lunchtime, girlies. I'm ready for the day, feeling stunning, feeling fresh. I still have some water left from the last <laughs> meal. Still cold. How, in this heat? Like, there's literally still, still ice in there and it's been about two and a half hours. Girl, let's choose lunch. I want something good and like filling. I'm, I'm very hungry right now. Let's check out the fries first. Let's just see what the prices are. So a Small fries is $2.39. A medium is $2.99. And a large is $3.49. Okay. Let me see like the ghost pepper fries and cheese fries. Ghost pepper fries are $2.89. Not bad. How are ghost pepper fries cheaper than a medium fries? That's so interesting to me. If I go very cheap with the entree, maybe I can afford ghost pepper fries as a side. Let's see, okay. <laughs> I'm getting excited. <laughs> oh! Even though the ghost pepper fries aren't hot enough, they are still delicious. It's like basically fries covered in hot sauce, like you can't go wrong with that, girlie. Let's check out the chicken sandwiches, okay? So I'm not gonna be able to afford any of the main chicken sandwiches, but maybe one of the cheap ones, like the crispy chicken sandwich. It's $1.89? <laughs> Okay, so $1.89 for that, $2.89 for the fries. Let's calculate that, shall we? $1.89 plus $2.89 equals $4.78. That's like half of my budget. But with tax, it might reach $5. I'm nervous. Let me just check out the cheap burgers too. The cheapest burger is the Junior Hamburger and it's $1.59. Mm, I think I'm craving the chicken sandwich. Let's do it. Okay, so crispy chicken sandwich and ghost pepper fries and water, yes. Okay, we are about to get back to Wendy's, the same location, hopefully they remember me. By the way, the Wendy's taco salad is back finally after being gone for like, I think a year. And it is now once again, my go-to salad. If I'm craving a salad, I go to Wendy's. I really adore it. I always ask for um, little sides of ghost pepper ranch to put into it. And oh, I love the tortilla chips. I love the salsa. It's like so trashy and sweet, but it adds so much flavor. And I always ask for extra sour cream too. I like first mix the lettuce with the sour cream and the salsa and it becomes like a dressing. And then right on top, I'll put the uh, chili, tortilla chips, and like globs of the ranch. Oh, so good. Okay, let's, let's get my budget lunch. I'm excited, there's no line. Hello, um, can I get a crispy chicken sandwich? This the sandwich? Uh, yes, um, the uh, cheap one. The BLT? Um, it's a crispy chicken sandwich. I think it's like a dollar and, and some cents. 
Jesse want me to add cheese on it? Oh, don't add cheese. It's the cheap one. Cheap. The cheap one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that? And the ghost pepper fries. Anything else? And a cup of water, and that's all. Medium or large? Oh, um, the free one. Like the small or whatever. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all. Thank you. Perfect. I really wanted to make sure that it was like the cheap crispy chicken sandwich and not like the, the pricey one. Hello, how are you? I'm gonna put it in here. Hi. What's the price? Five eleven. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, I don't know why, but those 11 cents hurt really bad. Like, I wasn't expecting it. I thought it was gonna be like five, 501 or something. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Okay. So for dinner, I only have like four dollars and some cents left. I'm scared. Okay, this is a nice little spot to park in. It's nice and shaded under a tree. The lighting's kind of bad. So yeah, because I have to include tax dinner is going to be a bit of a more budget friendly meal. You know, I can't get ghost pepper fries again or anything like that. So how's the lighting? It'll do. It'll do. Okay. And I did like almost stutter when I was um, making sure that it was the cheap version of the sandwich, but I got it out. It's fine. Okay. So we have the sandwich here. Feels kind of dainty, but you know, for the price, I think it's a good size. And then we have the ghost pepper fries here. Oh, there's one hanging out. Mm. Yes. Oh, another one fell out. They're spicier today. Oh, okay. Yay. Maybe they put extra sauce because they're giving haze. For real. Okay. Um, I'm actually really hungry again. Mmm. Mmm. Wendy's fries are complete trash. <laughs> like, they're awful. But any of their specialty fries with like toppings are amazing. They're just not good by themselves. My question is, how do they get them to stay so crispy even with all this hot sauce on them? So crispy. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Let's see how the sandwich looks. Okay. Not bad. So it has mayo, lettuce, and a kind of like budget chicken patty. It is not like they're like nice ones. You know, that's like real, real meat and all that. Oh, thumbnail. Hold on. Mmm. I haven't had a crispy chicken sandwich in years. It's all right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm enjoying this. I really am. The chicken patty does taste like a huge chicken nugget, but I like chicken nuggets. So I don't have an issue with that. Mmm. I do feel like it's not salty enough. You know, this tastes like a downgraded McChicken. McChickens from McDonald's have this amazing mayonnaise that's extremely tangy. And this just has normal mayonnaise, so it's almost like it's missing a tang, you know? It's also not crispy. But it's good!
Also, guys, let me be honest. These videos really help with my video budgets because some of my hotel videos and like Disney videos cost hundreds of dollars, right? But these budget videos cost me like 12, 20. It's amazing. And they are so fun to make because it is a genuine challenge. Also, I get to eat kind of daintier portions, which is a good break too. <laughs> I'm sorry about my nails. I picked them yesterday. I picked off all the paint. <laughs> it's so satisfying though, I love doing it. And I'm like waiting to repaint them because I am going to Disney in like two or three days. So I'm like, let me have a fresh coat of nail polish right before. I kind of want to do like a glittery, like fantasy moment. Maybe like a blue glitter moment or maybe like a pink with glitter. Something Disney-ish, right? I'm so excited. You know, these do kind of taste like fries with spicy grease on them. <laughs> but it works. It works. I like the grease. Mm. Awesome. This is random. But I want you guys to always focus on being extra nice to any kind of fast food worker, hotel worker, anything like that. It's so important. Like, the other day I was at this burrito place and I was getting tacos. And the girl that was making my tacos was like brand new. And she was being trained by someone else. So she was sort of walking her through the steps of making my taco. So I would say, I want cheese. And the authority person would like say, okay, so now you get this thing of cheese and you sprinkle it on each taco, things like that. And the girl was so adorable and so sweet and she kept messing up. She like accidentally dropped a huge pile like of cheese on like one taco and things like that. And I was just trying to be like encouraging. I was like, don't worry girl, I love cheese. You can add even more. <laughs> And I could tell that she felt so nervous. And the um, boss person was like, a tiny bit irritated, but I thought she was doing fine. She was so sweet. And after she finished my tacos, I was like, you're doing a great job. I just, I wanted to make her feel better. And guess what? The tacos were delicious. So good. She ate that. So, yeah. Just always try to be nice to employees, especially if they seem like they're struggling. Well, I finished those. They were legit spicy today. They put a lot of sauce. It was fantastic. I have a little bit of my sandwich left. Mm. That was a good balance, that, that whole meal. So, Chicken sandwich was a nice seven out of 10. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. And the ghost pepper fries were a 10. They were fantastic today. Wow, legit spicy. So let's see how much money I have left for dinner, okay? One, two, three, three dollars. And how many cents? 25, 50, 75, a dollar, good. A dollar, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have four dollars and fourteen cents left. I'm getting nervous, guys, for real. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. I will see you at dinner. Love you, Wendy. It's dinner time. Don't you hear the bell, sweetie? It is almost five p.m., which is around my typical dinner time. So let's choose dinner. I am hungry. Honestly, all the meals have been very filling. I have felt satisfied throughout the day. You know, so we love that. So it has to be under four dollars because those extra 14 cents or so um, will be definitely used for taxes. Strategize, strategize. Let's go back to those cheap little burgers. There's a junior hamburger for $1.59, a junior cheeseburger for $1.89, 30 cents for cheese, a double stack for $2.89, oh my gosh. A Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe for $2.39. A Junior Bacon Cheeseburger for $2.89. Okay. So I think we should do the Junior Cheeseburger. And I might get like a second sandwich just to kind of really fill me up. What about the chicken nuggets? Let's see. A four piece is $1.89. But it's only four pieces. What about six? Let's see six. 
two fifty nine. Okay. So I think I'm gonna have to get two items that are both under two two dollars, so that I for sure won't go over. Okay. So the Junior Cheeseburger and what about Frosties? How much are Frosties? Let's see. A small is two nineteen. A small Frosty is two dollars and nineteen cents, and a large is three twenty nine. Oh all over my budget <laughs> ah! I might have to get like two cheeseburgers because I don't want one cheeseburger and a four-piece chicken nuggets like that's just not gonna fill me that's not gonna fill so my it's fine I love cheeseburgers I'm totally fine with it honestly there is something very appetizing about just like eating multiple little cheeseburgers you know what I mean like in um Iron Man you guys know I'm an MCU stan um when Tony Stark gets home he's like I want cheeseburgers and he just gets these two little cheeseburgers and they always look so delicious to me I think they're from Burger King though but anyways what I'm trying to say is that I feel like Tony Stark right now getting two two little cheeseburgers oh my gosh the line is so long what I think there's at least maybe like seven cars in a line Wendy's is popping right now girl I'm gonna turn the camera off until um, it's my turn because it is gonna overheat and we don't want that okay I am next in line Ooh. It's actually my my turn, but the car in front of me is like still kind of blocking the speaker, so I can't get up there. It's not his fault though. But hurry it up! Wendy. Hello. Uh, can I get two junior cheeseburgers? Anything else? Um, and a cup of um water. Anything else? And that's it. Can you cash your card? Uh, cash. Cash? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Let me get my cash out. I think I'm gonna be saving like a couple, a couple cents. Huh. I won't spend it all in one place. Guys, have you heard Kelly Clarkson's new album, Chemistry? It's amazing, Kelly's amazing. I love her so much. I just, I love everything about her. I, I have loved Kelly Clarkson ever since she was on American Idol. I was seven years old and I remember voting for her. I put in like the number on the phone and I literally voted for her. I loved her ever since then, so. I have literally grown up listening to her and she just, she just never fails. I just love her. I've also been loving Miss Olivia Rodrigo's new song, Vampire Girl. It's so good. The intensity, the vocals, the songwriting, she is just, she has such a bright future. Look at me. Maybe I should be a music critic, not a food critic. Guys, when I call myself a food critic, a couple people in the comments every time get very upset and they're like, you're not a real food critic. My husband's a food critic. He went to food critic school. And I'm always like, okay, chill. We all know I'm not a legit food critic, but I technically I am a food critic. Like that is my job. I critique food. It's kind of like, is a singer a singer if they didn't go to singing school? You know, they're still a singer. Is an actor an actor even if they didn't go to acting school? I'm not used to fast food lines because I typically film like around 11 a.m. And at that time, there's never any lines anywhere besides like Chick-fil-A. They're always packed. Hello. All right, so you got... It was the two uh, junior cheeseburgers and, uh, um, and a cup of water. Gotcha. Yes. Uh, how much is it? That's 404. 404. Okay, here's four. And then I have four cents exactly here. Uh, yeah. And here's four cents. Uh, can you wait all this to go? Sorry? Can you wait all this to drive up? Just wait. Oh, okay. I'm driving right up there? Here. Oh, right here? Okay. So, I have 10 cents left. I slayed it. I slayed the challenge, guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel like I did a good job. I feel like every meal felt like a meal, even this one. You know, it is two little cheeseburgers, but I, but I do think that it's gonna fill me up. Let me use some hand sanitizer because I was touching all those coins a lot right now, and it's just kind of gross. Oh, sorry, go yeah. up there? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, yes, yeah, thank I just you. I saw you earlier. Yes. You always. <laughs> uh, it was three times today. It's a long story. It's a video that I'm filming for um, YouTube. Uh -huh. So it's like a challenge that I'm doing, like a Wendy's like budget challenge. <laughs> so that's why I've been here like all day. <laughs> but that's it okay. for the day. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, 
that was so funny. I felt like I had to like explain myself because it did seem kind of weird. And it was the same girl for all three meals. And I got like water every single meal. Like I can't. It's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna park here at Publix because I um, I forgot to park at Wendy's. <laughs> but that was so funny. Oh my gosh, I'm so awkward. I'm so awkward. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> my brakes just made a weird sound, it's fine. It's fine, I think um, that I um, put it into brake too fast, if that makes sense. But anyways, I'm, I'm very hot right now, so I'm just gonna put the air up a little bit. Um, that was so funny. Let's eat the burgers. So yeah, guys, I have 10 cents left. I'm very proud of myself, to be honest. Like, I really feel like I slayed this one more than the Panera challenge, because for like dinner at Panera, I like literally couldn't get like anything besides like mac and cheese. But today, I, well, I honestly could only get the junior cheeseburgers, but I actually want them right now. Okay. Oh, Ooh, I just love a simple little cheeseburger. Yes. Mmm! That ketchup though. Mmm. Oh, listen. I have dragged Wendy's beef patties in the past because the thicker ones don't have flavor. They don't. But when they're thin and cheap, they taste fantastic. Because the toppings really take over and really help the beef. Mmm. Those pickles. The pickles, the onions, ketchup. Is there a mustard on this? Not sure. Mmm. This is going to fill me up for sure. It will. I'm manifesting that. So when situations like that happen, I used to talk as little as like possible. I like would have said in the past like, yeah, I like Wendy's. <laughs> but this time, now that I'm a social butterfly or like a wannabe awkward social butterfly, I was like, yeah, this, this is for a challenge YouTube. I like explained it. So I've just been trying to have little conversations when the opportunity like presents itself, you know, because it's just good for my stutter and my social anxiety. Mm. The onions are so crispy. I love it. Let me know in the comments below what other restaurants do you want me to do like a budget challenge at, okay? Or st I still have to do Cheesecake Factory. Maybe like a $50 budget. I feel like that could work. Mom, even though I'm not eating there, I still have to tip at least like a couple dollars to the kitchen, you know? So maybe a $60 um, budget. We'll see. Mm. Oh. Oh, that was delicious. Honestly, I think that that might have been my favorite meal. Those little burgers are just so scrumptious. I'm giving them a 10 out of 10. Now, am I totally full? Wait, let me drink some water. I would say I'm 70% full, which is fine. It's doable. I'm not totally full, though. But it's okay. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this challenge? Did you enjoy it? Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned because my next video is probably a Disney video. So get excited. Um, ooh, okay, I am, I am actually kind of full. Ooh. Subscribe. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Bye.